Hello, I'm Stephen Murley and welcome to My Headlines. Former Rutgers wideout Mohamed Sanu received a prank phone call last week during the 2012 NFL Draft. The phone call informed Sanu that the Cincinnati Bengals had selected him. Sanu laughed off the prank phone call, but the laughter soon died because minutes later he was in fact selected by the Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati, where dreams go to die. 75-year-old Albert Miller was golfing at Lake Ashton Golf and Country Club in Florida last week. While on the 15th hole, an alligator lunged from a nearby pond and snagged Miller by his left hand, proving that once again, history does in fact repeat itself. It's club pro, Chubbs Peterson. Is sex good for your health? Recent studies have nerds baffled. Rumors have been swirling lately that Megan Fox is pregnant. In a related story, I'm having a baby. Look how happy we are. Last week at Disneyland, Miley Cyrus was photographed wearing a shirt that bared her stomach. The photo put parents in an uproar stating she is no longer wholesome enough. Really? Perhaps you haven't noticed, but Donald Duck, the sick pervert, hasn't worn pants a day in his life. Something to think about, parents. Lindsay Lohan was recently seen having lunch with Woody Allen, which makes me wonder two things. Does Woody Allen do cocaine? And is Lindsay Lohan attracted to guys who have the sex appeal of Clint Howard in a Gollum costume? Also, something to think about. A representative for Tom Cruise recently denied that the actor had been sexually assaulted, but as a precautionary measure, police are questioning Tom Skerritt due to this evidence. Nadia Sulman, better known as Octomom, has made the move into adult films. Eesh. During the shoot, the always classy Sulman posed for photos covered in SpaghettiOs. Nothing says sexy like canned pasta and a woman that has more baggage than the Southwest flight. Boom! For my headlines, I am Stephen Murley, and you've got to fight for your right to party.